Okay, E.H. Taylor, single barrel versus small batch. Is there a difference? Other than the name? The bottles are, are little sample bottles. These yeah. were given to us by Ray months and months ago. <laughs> yes. And we're just not getting to them. <laughs> Sorry, Ray. As hard as the small batch is to come by for us, single barrel is darn near impossible. Uh, I guess we'll keep them in the left side. My left or your left? My, we have the same left. You were literally too stupid to insult. Cool. All right. Now, we're gonna pour the small batch. Pour me. Because he's thirsty, dummy. All right. You spilt. You spilt right there. That was a big pour. Was that two <laughs> ounces? Uh, I think that was one ounce. We're gonna go with, who cares? 50 milliliters. This is how much they left out of the triple mash bottled, or uh, triple mash Jack Daniels in Bonded. Yes. They're cheap bastards. Yes. What the is wrong with y'all guys? Jack Daniels. All it's right. not a Jack Daniels episode. This is Colonel E.H. Taylor. What are we doing first? Um, let's small try batch. the small match first. That smells good. I mean, that's just, it's classic, absolute classic bourbon notes, and somebody spilt bourbon all over the small batch. In the small batch, it is, I mean, it's just classic bourbon notes, cherry, vanilla, brown sugar, a little bit of oak. Yeah. Well balanced. I think we need to spend much time on it. We're gonna go oh, into it. it. I want to. It's solid. We should have smelt this one first, by the way. That is really solid. Oh, the single barrel? That's different. That's a little, they're a little different. There's a different note in there. I mean, it's not wildly different, but there's a different note. Do the uh, left and right nostril technique. <sighs> I can smell. That one's clogged. Thanks, <laughs> South Carolina weather. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you right now, too, the single barrel is uh, darker. It is. All right. I like the smell, though. It's got a very yeah. good smell. It does. Can you identify the note though? Before there's, there's no, a, there's a di there is a different note though, right? Uh, yeah, there's, there's difference between the two smells, but can I identify it? No. No, there's a. Oh, and I know what I'm talking about. I'm stupid. I pick up just a slight apple here, like a, a Granny Smith. And I'm not picking that up over here on the single barrel. There's like a molasses note popping through. That's what it is. There's like this brown, like a dark brown sugar. Why do we dink and then keep smelling? I'm going I don't know. Let's take again. A drink. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's good. Oh, there's a, there's something on the back in there that I like. I like it a lot. Ooh, a little, little oaky. That's good. That's actually pretty good. I like that. This is more balanced, which is odd because the small batch should be more balanced versus a single barrel because they have the opportunity to actually mix the batch, you know, batch yeah. it together and create the flavor profile they want. But this has just got, it's just got this creaminess, this smoothness. Go back to the smell on, on the single barrel. There is a butter popcorn note hitting me now. I don't smell that. It's like movie theater butter popcorn. Definitely don't smell that. It's not like a prominent note, but it's a couple layers deep in there. There's like this movie theater butter. Who they have people but, cooking? It did. I, I'm, in, I'm digging the single barrel. Is that what you like more than the, the single barrel? No. I, I can't choose which one I like better because I like them for different reasons. It is not a drastic difference in flavor, but there is a distinguishable difference. I like them both, but I would go with a small batch. See, this has a darker note to me. It's darker, a little creamier. It's a, like a darker brown sugar note to me. Yeah, I, I'm gonna take small batch over the single barrel. Yeah, they're both good, but again, it's, I'm, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to split hairs here. And same thing, I'm splitting hairs. I would take either one of them. I would actually take the single barrel myself. Well, you go. So. Split decision. Split decision. Would I pay, okay, here's the here's the key. Would I pay extra for the single barrel over the small batch? No. If I can get them for the same price or within five bucks of each other, sure. But I'm still gonna get the small batch, but. Uh, <laughs> but of course, that next single barrel is not gonna necessarily taste like this one. So you could be getting a crapshoot. And for me, this might actually be a crapshoot ball. It could it be. Being a single barrel, there might be ones out there that are infinitely better yep. night and day difference. So Here's the key is that that's to me the exciting thing about single barrels is trying different ones. Why each why one's a different thing. Russian roulette where you get your d chopped off. I mean, it's the same thing. You're rolling that dice. Yes. You're rolling the dice that's on the excitement night you get the... No, you might, no. I don't want the same thing every single time. I, I want some difference. When that's the whole point of a single barrel. cut off, I want it to not to be cut off every single time. But realistically, am I, is my d get cut off the it's applicable it could to happen. a bourbon. It could I mean, come on. Would we have ever had the opportunity to try that Pursuit single barrel that we had that we both freaking yeah. love? Uh, I guess you're right, yeah. You know what I mean? That's a single barrel product. You'll never have that ever again in your life. 
If you want consistent pours, go for the small batch. Without a doubt, go for the small batch because you're gonna have a very consistent pour every time. And that goes for all small batch products. But for this this single barrel, I, I'm digging this single barrel. You know what's important there? Are you guys actually trying to buy Colonel E.H. Taylor? Uh, if you can't find it, then we have a list out of alternatives. Little card right there, check it out. Uh, we give you guys a five or six alternatives to this. Uh, it's, it's pretty good. Give it, a, give it the old look-see.